Hello, good afternoon. We are well into the afternoon. Welcome to this video. This week I'm just going to be picking up the camera. I'm gonna try to do it every day, but let's just say, most say, I'll be picking up the camera throughout the week because this is actually a very special week for me. This is the first week that I am completely self-employed. Yes. <laughs> I quit my job, my 9 to 5 job. I have been slowly building my own business over the past years and I'm gonna try to make this work. So welcome to my first week being self-employed. So in case you are new here, I am a yoga teacher and on this channel I share mostly intentional living related videos. So the ways that I'll be making money from now on are mostly going to be through teaching yoga and then also YouTube. I'm definitely hoping <laughs> that YouTube can at some point actually start making me a bit more money. Right now I'm making a little bit through partnerships, which is actually the first thing that I'll be doing right now. Um, this morning I've already been teaching yoga, so that was my morning. And now I need to select a few pieces for an upcoming collaboration which I'll be sharing in my fall capsule wardrobe. So that's coming to you very soon. But I need to select some pieces for that, for the brand's collaboration, which I'm super excited about. So that's what I'm planning to do right now. stuck on what to choose why is it so hard to choose you guys <laughs> it's so hard why so don't get me wrong i feel so incredibly lucky to be able to do this i'm so grateful like so so insanely grateful because me working with brands like this it's only really possible because you are choosing to watch my videos, so thank you so, so much for that. Also, the window is open. I hope the noise is not too distracting because it's too hot outside to not have everything open. It's so warm. It's like 30-something degrees today. 31, I think. Anyway, back to choosing the pieces. I'm just going to wrap this up and I will see you... Probably tomorrow, actually. Because I'm not planning to do anything too exciting right now. <laughs> so I'll see you tomorrow. I am going to be preparing my classes for this week. I basically already have a few classes set up that I can just teach at any point. Um, what I want to do, however, is kind of look at the classes that I've been teaching lately and then choose which classes I'm going to be teaching this week specifically for my Hatha classes because honestly I'm also going to be teaching Yin for like the first time in like an actual class this week which is super exciting, I'm really excited to do that but I actually need to still put those classes together so that's something that we're going to be doing probably a little bit later this week Super fun, I, I'm really excited to do that. But for now, I just wanna choose which hotter class I'm going to be teaching and kind of prepare them in my little binder, which I really, really need to replace. Like this is, this is looking really sad, like look at this. So uh, yeah, really needs to be replaced, but for now it still works. And I'm just going to figure out which classes I'm teaching this week. So in my planner, I actually keep track of the class that I've been teaching. Um, specifically for like the classes that I am teaching like each week. So I'm just going to take a look which I put last week and then I'm basically just choosing the classes following up of that. I have about 20 classes that I can teach at any point whenever I want so I just tend to cycle through those. Also I make sure that I'm not teaching the exact same class twice in like a span of two weeks. So if people 
follow most of my classes, which I do have people that come back to my classes like twice a week, um, sometimes even three times a week. So I don't want them to have the same class in the same week, but also not like two weeks in a row. So I also make sure that is good to go. So let's see, last week I did class 13, 15 and 30, which means that this week I'm going to be teaching class 70, no, 14, 17 and 4, I think. I'm teaching class number 5 on Friday. I'm going to be teaching class 17. I'm teaching on Wednesday, which is a super fun class. I'm excited to teach that. So I put all of these classes together myself. That said, definitely some of the classes are like more fun for me to teach. Um, either because they are slightly newer in like the, my little repertoire or just because they are super fun poses that are super enjoyable to teach for me. First class 14. Ah, and 14. Also, a fun class to teach. All right, so this week for my like class that I teach every single week and teaching 14, 17 and then five. That is good to go. And then let's see what else am I teaching this week. I already taught one Hatha class. And then I have two more Yin classes, which I still need to put together. Those are both at different studios, so I actually could use the same class for both of those, which is nice, especially because I'm not quite as used to teaching Yin yet. So I think I'll just put together one Yin class that I can kind of use for both, which is something that we'll be doing later this week. I think maybe tomorrow, maybe Thursday, I'm going to be doing that. For now though, at least the class, these classes are good to go. So the class for today and then the class for tomorrow are in my binder and I don't have to think about it anymore, which is really nice. <laughs> nice to be prepared. The other bag, all packed, so I'm gonna put that in the hole so I can just take it with me this evening when I'm teaching. Need to stay hydrated. I have a kind of love-hate relationship with this mug. It is super nice and big. It's super nice to hold like this, but it's kind of annoying to hold it on the handle. Especially if it's full, it's not now, so now it's okay. But because it's so big, it kind of gets a little bit heavy to hold like this. So to hold it like in your hands, it's perfect. It's so nice. And it just looks gorgeous. That makes me happy.
teaching was so hard today. <laughs> I was getting out of breath. My body just felt tired. <sighs> Usually I don't feel this way unless I'm either sick <laughs> or um, I'm actually just really, really tired, which I'm voting for option number two. I'm just really tired. But it was so difficult. <laughs> Later this day, I just have a private yin class to teach. So that's nice. So and I think just otherwise I'm going to try to take things easy. <sighs> yeah. I'm not quite realizing yet that like I feel like I'm now working for myself and I quit my normal job which means that I should have more time and thus be less tired but really taking this into consideration like my last three days of my normal job were so busy <laughs> that's exhausting then I had one day off where I just could do absolutely nothing and then Monday I kind of just started this thing and the first actual day that's going to be actually different from working my 9 to 5 job is going to be this Thursday because that's usually when I would start my normal job I would work like the end of the week so basically I've just been really busy not really taking enough rest and still feeling like I should have more energy because I'm not working my normal job well really the real change is going to start on Thursday. Thus far I actually have more to do than I usually would these days um, because I'm teaching more. So I just really need to realize that and kind of take a step back I think. I'm exhausted. I'm so tired. I did make a reel yesterday which I really really enjoyed. It was so fun. I would like to make those like kind of slow living, intentional living reels a little bit more. Um, they are fun to make. I enjoyed it. Hmm. Yeah. And I was going to be filming later this day, like in the park. Um, but it's raining, so I'm not going to film in the park today. <laughs> I think I'll see if I can do that tomorrow. And if that's not going to work, then I'll just change that to an indoor scene. But for now, I'm going to change out of my sweaty yoga clothes. And then I'm going to take June out because she needs to go out and I'm still considering if I'm going to make myself a matcha or an iced coffee to take with me yeah but let's I'm gonna change first so let's do that okay a little outfit of today <laughs> I'm wearing my sandal floor dress because I was craving wearing this <laughs> been wanting to wear it for a few days um, also I decided on the iced coffee so <clears throat> let's uh, let's take June out Good morning. <laughs> I washed my hair, which is so nice. Uh, it always feels so good to have done that. And I did not style it because I'm getting a haircut later today, which I'm excited for. So, they're empty emptying out the bins. I'll be right back. So basically what I'm going to be doing right now, I still need to finish a YouTube video. Um, that's actually going to be going live tomorrow. It's like some last or final days of summer video and I'm hoping to be able to do that now I think I should be able to do so now Then I'm going to take June for a walk and after that it's just lunch getting my hair cut and then this afternoon I'm still planning to finish up the class that I'm going to be teaching on Friday and like the setup for it the sequence because it's a class I've never taught before, so <laughs> I do need to prepare that a little bit more than usual. For now though, the game plan is to just finish this YouTube video, get that uploading to YouTube, and then taking June for a walk. So that's what I'm doing right now. 
my hair is not quite dry yet. I just got my hair cut and I thought I'd just kind of quickly style it um, after. So it's still drying a little bit. Anyway, um, I've packaged. Remember those pieces I had to choose on Monday for an upcoming collaboration? Well, they are here. And I thought I'd just do a quick unboxing together because why not? <laughs> A little card. All right, so I guess I'll just start with this. You've already seen this before. Um, I got this as a gift for my mother. And yes, she knows that I'm doing this in this video. Sorry, this is their little travel jewelry case. Um, I also gave this to my sister. I also have one myself. These are such a fun little gift, especially to give jewelry in. And she saw it and she's like, oh, that is so practical. It really is. So, got that. Let's start with the first piece. Oh, yes. I'm excited about this. Oh, this is pretty. So, oh, this really, really is super pretty. Let's change this. I'm just gonna keep this on, I think, after this. Oh, yeah. Also, this one's also by Linear from a previous collaboration. This one again, also by Linear. Okay, so I'm just going to keep this on. This is super, super pretty. It's little moonstones. Oh, there's just something about moonstone that I love so much. These are a gift for my mother. And they are insanely beautiful. These are pearls. Uh, on a girl, gold for my earring. I personally don't buy pearls for myself because they are not very um, animal friendly, but they are really beautiful. If they make something like this with the stone, I, I would get that. <laughs> Absolutely. So that's for my mom. And then this should also be for me. So I got another stacking ring because, of course, I cannot have enough stacking rings. So the lower one is the new one. The other one I already had. Both are by Linear, also again Linear and Linear. <laughs> so many Linear rings by now, but they're just so pretty and so dainty. So nice. Also try them with this. Looks really good as well. Just a quick little unboxing. I think I'll keep it on with this. <laughs> and I just want to say that I'm so grateful that you guys are all watching my videos, which is actually the reason that I get to do sponsored videos like this one, like this specific video, not sponsored, absolutely not. I just genuinely am excited about this piece and wanted to share me opening them up. Also, it's part of my work week. Um, but yeah, if you want to support my channel, the best way to do that is watch my sponsored content. Give it a like, click on the links that I share in the video description. Even if you're not planning to buy anything, those are all ways that are free to you to support me and if you do want to buy something also check if maybe I have a link to the website in my description box because chances are if you buy through that link I actually get a really really small commission of the price it doesn't cost you anything extra but it just really helped me out so thank you for the people that are doing that but yeah the video that I was working on is done exporting sorry I'm just going to get this up on YouTube Welcome to my couch. Today I decided it would be a great day to just work from my couch. <laughs> um, I already taught a class early this morning, like a class like it was like eight to nine. So wake up morning flow. I really love teaching that class actually. It means I do need to get up kind of early if I want to eat something like in time for the class because 
I cannot teach on an empty stomach, that's just not a great idea. But also, at the same time, if I eat too close to the class, not a great experience either. So I kind of need to get early for that, but that's okay. Uh, it's just really nice to kind of wake up with all of those people, really, really enjoy that. What I'm going to do now though, um, I still need to prepare the yoga class for later this day, which is a um, women well-being class, which I am a substitute teacher for this week and also next week actually, so I'm going to need two classes for that actually, but focusing on the first one first. <laughs> um, so I'm going to try to figure out what I want to teach for that, because I really don't know yet. <sighs> so I'm going to take a look at the notes that the original teacher of that class gave me to kind of figure out what she usually does. Um, and then I also have an ebook which I got through um, the yoga school that I actually did my yin teacher training. Do I'm still not entirely done. <laughs> and that's all about re rewiring your nervous system for optimal menstrual health. So I figured here there might just be a few good tips in here that I can use in that class. So I'm going to read that and then I'm just taking a look at the notes that I got from the other teacher. June's walking around, so if you hear her nails clicking on the floor, you know why. Um, yeah, so that's the plan for this morning. Then I'm going to take June for her walk. And then this afternoon, I actually need to make soup before I leave for my class because my partner needs to eat in time. So, <laughs> And I won't be home yet when he needs to eat. So I want to have that done as well for him. Um, so that's the plan for today. Early morning class that I already did. Preparing the class for this afternoon. June out. Cooking. Teaching another class. That's basically my day. Also, I just um, ripped a hole in both my favorite yoga top <laughs> and my favorite pair of yoga leggings. So I'm gonna need <laughs> to find some new ones because with the amount of days that I'm teaching now I am um, I need to have enough otherwise it's very annoying with having to wash everything in time so also might see if I can figure something out for that anyway let's get to work <laughs> 